This is a demonstration on the 5008S machine on how to pause the treatment or circulate the system. This is, would be a, in the case of a patient needing to use the bathroom or get out of their chair for any reason. All right, so first we need to make sure we have the right supplies. So we need a sterile four by four opened up, four chlorhexidine wipes, no alcohol, two pre-filled saline syringes, and the connector device that comes in the bloodline package. All right, um, we just have a demo patient here, but on a real person, we'd want to do a blood pressure first to make sure that they are stable enough to be getting up out of their chair. Um, we want to get our equipment ready. So first we'll start by putting the four by four underneath the patient's line. Wash hands, put on gloves. Okay, we just need to quickly clean the outside of the catheter while still attached to the blood lines with the chlorhexidine wipes. So we'll just start on one side, do a scrub of the connections. Same thing on the other side with a new wipe. Okay, now that that is prepared, we're gonna come over to the machine. We're gonna reduce our pump speed to 200 mils per minute. Um, in most cases, we're going to, we're going to want to give the patient back uh, at least most of their blood. Uh, this also helps with blood pressure. So we're going to open the two clamps on the saline line. So that's the roller clamp and the small white clamp. We're going to close the big red arterial clamp and we're going to allow the pump to run until the blood is watermelon color in the venous line. Then we're going to stop the pump. Okay, at this point we'd want to double check the blood pressure. Then we're going to disconnect the arterial blood line. Clamp the lines, of course. <laughs> disconnect. And we're gonna attach the arterial blood line to the blue adapter device. So we just have to make sure that we're not uh, touching the sterile ends. Okay, having a helper is good. <laughs> then you're going to clamp the two clamps on the venous blood line and then disconnect from the patient and then connect the venous blood line to the other end of the blue connector device. All right, now we can open the two blood line clamps, one venous, one arterial, and secure the line on a holder. Okay, then we're going to go into the options screen, circulation, We've got our machine on a demo mode here. Quick adaptation, yes, circulation, and then hit start. Interesting. There we go. <laughs> All right, the machine gives us the option to go back into treatment or start circulation, so we want to hit circulation. And the machine's gonna display stop, stop circulating until you are ready to go back on dialysis. So at this point, the patient's going to do what they need to do. Maybe because the saline's still open, possibly. Oh yes, okay. The machine does not wanna run with saline open. So if that kind of situation, you wanna just correct the issue and hit circulation. All right, so the machine will circulate 
at the slow pump speed, um, probably be best to keep it at at least 200 mils per minute. And then you're going to, you only have about 10 minutes before the machine's going to stop and ask you for some kind of direction. However, when you are back from the bathroom or wherever, you're going to hit the okay on the stop circulating. Um, oh, right, 